All right, seventh grade, we're gonna show you how to draft uh, your CO2 cars. Um, and so what I've done here is I have my T-square that I made. I have my triangle that I made. I have my block wood that I gave all of you uh, at school on Friday. <clears throat> and uh, I have the big piece of paper that I gave you. Um, I realize how difficult it is to put a border, a nameplate, and a lucky L uh, and all that good stuff with handmade drafting tools. Uh, I do have a good ruler, so I do have that going for me. Uh, so I'm not going to make you do a full border. What I've done at the bottom of the paper here is I went up a half inch and drew a line. Then went up another half inch drew a line in this first box. I'm going to have you print your name, all capitals, the date, the period, uh, period four and five. And we're just going to name this CO2 car number one because <clears throat> i'm going to have you remember i gave you a couple pieces of paper we're going to have you design a couple different cars and then we'll pick out which one you like the best okay what i've kind of found is after we draw a car or two or three we start to see cars get better and better and better so i want you to have that opportunity uh we had you take two or three pieces of paper you can use both sides um i'm not going to mandate that you do more than two i think two is the minimum uh, but I think uh, certainly might uh, find that your cars get better and better as you go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to draw the base of my Lucky L. Um, and I'm working off the right-hand side of the table. Usually I work off the left, but uh, uh, this will be fine. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make sure I get my square as close to down against the bottom here. And I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure out my block. Um, and it's just shy of 12 inches. So I'm going to put a mark here to start with. And then I'm going to go just shy of 12 inches and put a mark. Uh, and then I take my triangle. Uh, and again, this is my homemade triangle. So I'm going to put this here on my front mark and take it up. And I'm going to take this here on the back of my... Go line up pretty high. Okay, so now... I'm going to measure the front of this block, and this is why I gave you your blocks, is not every block is exactly the same, so I want you to measure each block out uh, when you draw your card. Don't, um, I, I also don't like to trace my car, because when you trace the car, the patterns will end up just slightly bigger than the block itself, uh, and then we find car details missing uh, when we're done, so... All right, so I've drawn up the back, the bottom, and the side there, or the front. So I'm going to just take my T-square upside down now, and I'm going to connect those two points. Okay, I'm going to erase my extras here. I have a little extra there, a little extra here, a little extra there. Get rid of that. All right, a couple things I need to still put on. Uh, remember, there's an engine compartment in the back of this we got to take account for. So I'm going to measure up. Looks like this one is, well, it looks like it's exactly 15 sixteenths from the bottom of the car. And again, these aren't all in the same place, so I warn you, uh, they are all three quarter inch holes. So what I did is I measured from the bottom of the block to the bottom of the hole, and that's this mark there. And then I went up three fourths more. I'm going to take my t square flip it back over, and I'm going to come in here. Lined up with that mark and come out. Come out with this mark. Okay. And then to figure out how deep that hole is, I just take my pencil. I slide. Make sure you have a flat, a good flat eraser like this one. I'm going to measure that. Push that in there all the way to the bottom. Slide my thumb to mark it. Pull that out. I can measure that right at two inches. So I'm going to measure over two inches. I'm going to put a mark. And then again, I'm going to take my triangle and T-square together. Okay. And voila, that's where my engine compartment is inside that block of wood. All right, next thing. Uh, I'm going to come up to draw my top view. And I know this looks a little different than the three views we did. And that's fine. So I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to draw the back of my car. And make sure it lines up with exactly the back of your car there. 
And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna flip my triangle over because there's a little glue on my T-square over there. Okay. And so I'm gonna come up about a half inch from my front view. Get it all line. And then I'm gonna measure out how thick this block is. And that block is, boy, it looks like it's one and maybe just a skosh over one and five eighths. We're gonna call it one and five eighths. One and five eighths. You notice I'm not wearing my glasses. Probably should be. Maybe explain some of my measuring issues today. So I'm gonna come up here to the top of my one and five eighths mark. And I'm gonna draw a line, okay? And again, I'm gonna clean off those cord those extra marks. I'm gonna clean off the extra back here and here. Now, the one thing we need to do is we need to draw in the top view where the hole is in the top view. So I need to know uh, where the center of this block is for two reasons. Um, and so if the block is one and five eighths, if I cut each of those in half, one would give me five, one half. Five eighths cut in half is five sixteenths. So I make this into eight sixteenths. That equals 13 sixteenths is the center line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from the bottom of my block up exactly 13 sixteenths. And then I'm gonna measure down exactly 13 sixteenths. I'm gonna do that on the front and the back. And what I'm hoping to get out of this is a line that is truly perfectly centered. 13 sixteenths, 13 sixteenths. So see how I have a line here, there's two of them. It probably just looks like one on the camera, but there are actually two lines there and two lines there. So I'm gonna take my fancy T-square right down the center of them. And that is my center line. Okay, that's the middle of my car. So my engine compartment we know is three-fourths in diameter. So I want half of that circle on one side of the center line. I want half on the other. So three-fourths, if you cut a fraction in half, you just double the bottom number. So half of three-fourths is three-eighths. So for my center line, I'm going to go down three-eighths and up three-eighths. And that will equal three-fourths. So I'm going to go up three-eighths, one, two, three, which is six-sixteenths. Down another three eighths or six sixteenths. And then from there, I can take those dots and draw a line. And do the same thing on this side. Draw a line. And then I'm going to cheat here because I don't want to remeasure two inches out. I'm just going to line this up with my inch apartment on my front view and draw a line to measure how deep it is in the top. Okay? All right, so now I have a front view and I have a top view. We're not going to make you do an end view, just these two views, okay? So you're going to sit down and you're going to draw two blocks like this, get them all set up, uh, and then you're ready to start designing. Since I'm not going to draw two of them for a demonstration, it would be too long a video, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and come in here real quick and um, draw my car out for you, okay? So what my car is going to look like is I'm going to come uh, back here and my car is going to go up here and then I'm going to put a fin that comes up to there and then my fin is going to go down here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint that chunk right there so it looks like a um, like a cockpit of a car and I'm going to come down and back up Okay, and then over here, I'm going to round this up a little. Okay, so that is my car. This will be tinted. I'm not going to cut that out. I'm actually just going to paint this with a different color of paint, painted black. And when I do that, I paint that black. Oop, let me turn the heat off real quick.
So when I paint that black, it'll look like the cockpit of my, where the driver sits in my race car. Then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna put a wheel here. Now remember, on our spec sheet, I'm gonna go up an eighth inch and then I'm gonna draw a 3 16 hole, which I'm just gonna guesstimate is about that big. And then on your front view, I'm gonna go up an eighth inch and draw my 3 16 hole. And again, remember my magic power is that I can guesstimate distances. Uh, I might've gone just a little high, that's not the end of the world. One thing you need to know is that the bottom of your block needs to be the bottom of your car. Don't draw your car halfway up because these axle holes need to be uh, a certain distance from the bottom of the car to the center of the circle. So if you make your car go way up here and put the wheels up here, it'll bring the car down too low and we won't be able to fire the CO2, okay? So the bottom of the block is the bottom of your car. Now, I could come in here like this and bring this back up like that, that's fine, I can do that because where my wheels are, are still the right distance off the ground, okay? So here is the front view of my car. Uh, real quick before I move on, I'm gonna make sure of a couple other specs. One is, uh, make sure our car is at least eight inches long, and in this car it's nine inches, so we're good. Number two, uh, there was one other specification, and that was around this engine compartment, we need to leave a quarter inch material. So I'm gonna measure up a quarter, down a quarter, and in a quarter. And again, I'm not measuring this because I'm trying to do it fast so the video isn't super big, it takes up all the space on my phone. Uh, and then I'm just gonna put lines in that. So we know that is where we don't wanna cut into, they, they call this cross hatching. We, you can do this with drafting tools if you have them. If not, just do them by hand. So we're not gonna cut into that cross hatched area or the area with the lines uh, because we'll be too close to our engine part. So there is my front view. Done, finished, easy cheesy. Now we're gonna go to the top view and the top view is the hard part. So I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna put my T-square at the front of my car, my T-square and triangle at the very front of my car. And I'm gonna use that to draw a line here so I know how long my car is gonna be, okay? Uh, frequently I have kids that turn in cars where the front view is this long and the top view is this long. They have to be exactly the same, okay? So two views, exactly the same length. I have my center line going down. So we're gonna design our top view a little differently. When you're looking straight down at the top of a car, the two sides of a car tend to be perfectly symmetrical. The left side and the right side are identical. The problem is it's really difficult for you to draw both sides exactly the same. So here's what I am suggesting. I'm gonna take one of these pieces of paper, okay? And you might remember this from uh, when you were in fourth grade and it was Valentine's Day. You used to take a piece of paper and fold it in half. Now imagine that fold is my center line, okay? I fold it in half and now I'm gonna design, because it's Valentine's Day, I'm gonna design just one half of a heart, okay? And I know right there, it doesn't look like a heart. Your car won't look like a car either when you draw just half of it. But then, if I cut out my heart and the paper's folded over, and we cut this out, then when I unfold it, voila, you got a heart, okay? So our top view and our heart are very much the same line. We put a line down the center we're gonna draw half of the top view. After we're done and we like our car, we're gonna fold, cut it out, and fold it right down the center line, cut it out, and then when we unfold it, the two sides of the car will be virtually identical. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give myself some hints or some way to kind of know what my car is gonna look like. So the first thing I like to do is I'm gonna mark where my wheels are. So I'm gonna put dotted lines here because they're hiding inside the block of wood. I'm gonna put some dotted lines where the axle is. Okay, the front axle. Then I'm gonna go back here and do the back axle. And again, just a couple dotted lines. Dotted line there, dotted line there. Okay, so now I know where the, car, where the axle is gonna go. I know where the front of the car is, I know where the back of the car is. 
one other thing, don't forget, we need to stay a quarter inch away from our engine compartment. So I'm gonna go a quarter inch up. I'm gonna go a quarter inch down. And I'm gonna go a quarter inch to the front. And that wasn't a very straight line. Let me redo that one. And then I'm gonna go a quarter inch to the front. And we're gonna cross hatch these because we want to leave a quarter inch of material around that engine compartment on all sides, right? We don't want to cut into it. If we cut into the engine compartment, we got problems. So I'm not going to cut into there or there. So now I'm ready to design the top of my car. And this is the hard part. Kids are always like, I don't understand how to do this. Well, the problem is your car is in your brain. And so what you have to think about is when you draw a car like this, uh, think about if you climbed up on top of the car and were hovering over it in a helicopter, what it looked like. So my car is going to round a little bit to where the wheels are at. And then after I get past there, I'm going to come down here. It's going to get skinnier. It's going to get wider again. Make sure you stay inside the block. And then I'm just going to round it off right there. Okay. And so my engine compartment is within my quarter inch. I'm going to go ahead and draw my uh, two parts to my, remember my uh, cockpit? I'm going to come in here and just like that, okay? And I know this is really difficult to see and understand because all I've drawn, drawn is a half a car. But a couple things I want you to notice. See where the two axles are? The car is almost the full width because I used this full half. And that is one of the specifications is that the block of wood has to be almost the full width of the block where the axles go through. So I met that requirement. I met the requirement that it's uh, eight inches long. I met the requirement of leaving a quarter inch around my engine compartments. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my spec sheet. I'm gonna flip it over on the back and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna check to make sure each one of these meets my specification. When it does, or if it doesn't, if it doesn't, I need to fix it. If it does meet my specifications, well then I'm good to move on. So that is how you design a CO2 car. What I would like you to do is sit down, uh, draw up a couple cars today or tomorrow. Uh, let's get, uh, I'm gonna give you a couple days to do this. Um, Cause what I'm really hoping you'll do is you'll go online and look at some cars um, and get some ideas, get inspired. And maybe if uh, your friends share their cars with you and you start to see what other kids are coming up with, maybe that'll inspire you. When I say share them, share them with phone, with pictures on the phone or Snapchat or some app. Don't go over to your friend's house. Um, that kind of defeats the purpose of us all staying isolated. And so I would uh, do my best to uh, uh, get inspired by some other pictures. So you'll see here, I didn't even have any masking tape to tape my drawing down. I had to use clear scotch tape, which is almost impossible to, to work. And so here is one of my drafts. I'm gonna sit down uh, probably tomorrow and make another one. So this is kind of what my car is gonna look like, okay? And if you're doing a hobby car, remember hobby cars don't look anything like race cars. They look like something other than a race car, all right? Hey, good luck drafting them out, drawing them out. If you cannot get the drafting tools to work at all, you can trace your blocks. Uh, but remember, when you do that, your blocks are now bigger than your patterns, and that's a bad thing. We need the patterns to fit onto the side of the block of wood, okay? All right, so you're going to take a couple days. You're going to design your drafts, uh, your cars, and uh, uh, once you get a couple, two or three of them done, the next step is I will show you how we convert this from a draft to a pattern for your block of wood. All right, have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.